happy Monday Becky Tim's here live for the drive at five and I get out asked all the time Becky where do you get stuff to sell on eBay where do I find things to sell on eBay so today I'm gonna share with you exactly some places that you can go today to find items to sell on eBay hey Philip thanks for joining okay so I'm gonna take you way back like 18 years ago when I was selling on eBay like way 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 back so what I used to do is I would go to yard sales and I would go to flea markets and I would also go to the pawn shop and um, I worked in a laboratory and I would literally buy gold back then um, these Omega necklaces were really popular so I would go and buy gold and I would take them into my laboratory and I would weigh them and they would weigh like 43.8924 grams and so in my description on eBay I would say 43.8924 grams well I had a customer ask me a question and he was like well, how do you know it's 43.8924 grams and I was like well I work in a laboratory I put it on an analytical balance and I know that it's correct because I teared it and calibrated it and it's good right well most people don't have access to a um, analytical balance or a, um, a, a triple D triple beam balance or any of those types of scales so um, and and personally I would not sell jewelry on eBay right now but that's just me but that's what I used to do back in the day and so I was selling I was flipping books I was flipping things from pawn shops but today but even back then and I was buying a lot on eBay as well as you know most of the time I buy my clothes from Goodwill because I love um, recycling and using used items over and over and over hey Eric thanks for joining but back then if I found a shirt in my size I would do on eBay see other items to see what else the other sellers were selling and I would see things like a lawnmower and a storage shed and a shirt and pots and pans and you know snow blowers and on and on and on now I was single at that time and I had my little 1200 square foot house and I was like how are these people storing all this stuff in their house that's what I was thinking well 18 years ago um, they were drop shipping back then which you can drop ship now because fast forward that's what I started doing um, five years ago was drop shipping and then the light bulb went off in my hat my head and I was like ding 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 that's where they were getting the items from to find to sell on eBay 18 years ago so I know that people have been doing this for at least 18 years if not more but today I wanted to share with you some sites that you could go to and find items to sell on eBay of course you can still go to pawn store pawn shops and you can go to um, garage sales and yard sales and you can ask your nephews uncles cousins and other relatives if they have items that you can sell on eBay and or Amazon because Amazon also has used items books board games they're really good items to sell on Amazon if all the pieces are there and if it's in good condition and you describe your condition of your items to the T then that makes it a good product to sell on Amazon and the box isn't torn and etc cetera, etc cetera. now a lot of people think oh well eBay is just junk and I don't want you to think like that because a ton a ton a ton of people still sell on eBay and a ton more even buy on eBay and so a lot of people will ask well why would someone buy off of eBay instead of going to Amazon and here's my answer where do you go grocery shopping well you might say I go to Publix or I go to Harris Teeter or I go to Bilo and so my my reply to you is well why don't you go to Walmart well I've always gone to Publix and why don't you go to Whole Foods because I've always gone to Publix same thing with the shoppers and the buyers and the sellers on eBay they've always gone to eBay or they've always gone to Amazon or maybe they search the internet to try and find the best deal 
but I will say not everyone does that and that's why this business model works so beautifully but I wanted to give you a special place because you're still watching with me here today I'm gonna give you a special website that you can go on even with even if you're selling on eBay or not you may be able to go on there and find some deals um, local to you and the website is called govdeals.com g-o-v-d-e-a-l-s dot com so what govdeals is it's a liquidity service marketplace so basically um, all the government agencies well not all some of the government agencies are allowed to sell on that marketplace so they can sell surplus items and they can also sell confiscated items so when the police confiscate items they sell it on govdeals.com for my company that I work for I put items on govdeals.com and Kedrick I just saw you on here do you know about govdeals.com Kedrick I know you're a thrifter so it is a great website that you can go to especially locally and it's funny because I put items on govdeals.com at fair market value and when buyers come and so with govdeals you can separate um, by category or by location or by proximity and they sell like laboratory equipment and vehicles and beauty and industrial and office supplies they sell everything it's it's like I said it's everything awesome Kedrick um, one thing I do want to say about GovDeals is definitely check the quality, but I know as a lab director, the items that I've put on there, um, one, you have to describe them accurately to the person that's buying them. You can set up an appointment for them to come and visit them. And three, they have to pay um, within 10 days of the auction closing, and it's an auction site as well. So I know that items that I've put on from our laboratory, when the buyers come to buy it, they are happier than a pig in crap. They are so happy because I know that they're going to flip it on eBay or they're going to flip it on Amazon. And so you may say, well, Becky, why don't you just, you know, put it, buy it and put it on there? Well, one is a conflict of interest and you got to be ethical in your business, right? So if I'm listing it as a seller and I'm, I'm giving it fair market value, then someone else can go and buy it and sell it or do whatever they want to. So I know um, a couple of items that I personally put on here through work. One was a typewriter. We had a typewriter from like 25 years ago. Very nice typewriter. It still worked. Um, someone came they were tickled pink to get that typewriter another one was a VCR and TV combo um, once again the guy came he was tickled pink to get it and he told me he's like hey I'm gonna sell this on eBay and so I said well you know I talked to him I was like tell me about your eBay hey Amy thanks for joining I said tell me how you're selling it on eBay do you know about XYZ that's right, Kedrick, typewriters are dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. So if you go to your Goodwills and you see typewriters, test them out, make sure they work. Some don't even have to work. You can sell them as parts on eBay. Um, but just be sure that you uh, um, describe it accurately. I actually did a case study probably about a year ago now. I... Um, went into the local Goodwill for about 10 minutes and I came out and I was like, this is what I bought, I bought a typewriter, I'm gonna list it and it sold within like two weeks on eBay and I flipped it for, I don't know, 20 or 40 bucks, I forgot what it was, just by going to Goodwill. So I wanted to share that with you. If you're brand new, if you're interested in starting and you wanna learn how to sell on eBay, send me a message. I'll connect you with some of the resources that I started with and speaking of eBay, I'm going back to the basics. And I actually had a dream last night. It woke me up this morning. And my dream was that I listed an item on eBay and it went to the number one spot on for that keyword. And so I'm going to test it out. It's going to take me some time because I'm still watching the training. But that's what happens in the training. And so my thought process is, well, if she can do it, I can do it so literally when I got up to get on the treadmill this morning I was like I'm gonna be on the first page of eBay and I'm gonna be in the number one slot because think about it when you shop on Amazon or when you shop on eBay don't you look at the items that's like the first second and third maybe you scroll through the first page maybe not I don't know how I don't know your shopping habits but I know a lot of people do I know how to get items to the first page on Amazon like boom that's why I sell so much 
but I don't know how to do it on eBay, but I'm learning. And so I'm going to test my theor theory. I'll do a case study. I'm not going to show you what I'm selling because um, it's a new market for me and I'm going to um, test it out, but I'll cover it up and let you know like what page I'm on and how long it takes me to get to page one, et cetera, et cetera. Kedrick says eBay is all about traffic. Now Kedrick is like the thrifting king, so he knows tons about eBay and you are so right, Kedrick. But let me tell you about my hair. Oh, I just got a text that said you won. That's like, it's expiring at 12.59. They're giving you like 11.59. It's FOMO, right? It's some kind of spam text. But anyway, so this morning, Becky with the good hair, I actually, every morning when I get off treadmill, I drink shake. And in my shake, I have like avocado and spinach and almond milk. Well, this morning, it smells like it's got like extra protein, right? So I drank my shake anyway, but this whole part of my hair just fell in the shake. It feels so kind of nasty, but anyway, just thought I'd tell you that. I finished day number six of my 30-day treadmill challenge, so tomorrow's day number seven. Super excited about that. Now, I've been walking on the treadmill for at least three times a week for at least two years, but I'm stepping it up this month and I want to walk every single day. So tomorrow's day number seven and I'm going to do that. I'll post every day on my Facebook wall if you want to um, see that journey. So once again, I'm going to sign off and go home and feed my boys, but I wanted to just jump on here and tell you about govdeals.com. If you can look at it, search it by your location and see if there's any cool deals. And just be sure to really thoroughly check the items and make sure they're of good quality before you sell someone because you don't want to sell them junk, right? Okay, guys, see you tomorrow on The Drive at 5. Have an amazing day. Bye.